happens here has been at Frankfurt Staple for years. Rick Vicky, there's good food, good drink, as I'm sure you can hear, good music. Really, it's just a chance for welcomes to, for locals to welcome the new governor. Now, I can tell you, Matt Bevan arrived here just a short time after his swearing-in ceremony. He kept his remarks brief, but as you heard Mark say, he was grateful for the opportunity to lead Kentucky over the next four years. He also said he was very appreciative of the warm welcome so far. The hospitality, of course, has been outstanding uh, right from the very morning uh, that we are in uh, today. And so, uh, so grateful to you, uh, so appreciative. During those brief remarks, Governor Bevan was joined by Lieutenant Governor Janine Hampton and Frankfurt's mayor. Bevan joked about the absence of his wife, Glenna, and their daughter, saying there was, quote, a lot of hair to be done before the next event. And in fact, Bevan seemed very relaxed while addressing this group, even saying he'd keep his remarks short, Rick Vicky, because he was certain those gathered preferred to listen to the second grade choir that was on hand to perform. Now, that sense of humor and relaxed nature is what many in the crowd say they appreciate about our new governor. One county clerk drove three hours today to witness history, and he told me he wasn't disappointed. He's very personal. And, and, and he's real. He's just down to earth, you know. And, and that's that's what we like is, is someone that's that's ready to go to work and, 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 and you know is one of us. Now this party here, Rick Vicky continues on for the next hour. Then it's back to the Capitol. That's where Bevan, his family, the Lieutenant Governor, and her husband will take part in the inaugural march. Reporting live in Frankfurt tonight, Lauren Adams, WLKY News.